Hey, hey Van, Van Fam! Fam. Surprise! Surprise! We pregnant. are pregnant. Well, you're pregnant. Before we get into the story, we want to say thank you to Let's Get Checked, who's the sponsor of this video. Let's Get Checked makes professional health testing easy by letting you get tested without visiting a health care provider. Choose your test online and it will be delivered to you in a discreet packaging with next day delivery. Once your sample arrives in the laboratory, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five days. These results are reviewed by a clinician and a member of the Let's Get Checked nursing team may call you to review your results. What I love about this is in some cases, the clinician will be able to provide you prescriptions to the pharmacy of your choosing. Let's Get Checked Laboratories are CLIA approved and CAP accredited, which are the highest ranking levels of accreditation. So guys, Let's Get Checked lets you avoid uncomfortable office visits by providing you with access to home testing and professional medical consultations without ever having to leave your home. It's never been this simple to get tested. So guys, if you wanna get tested at home, visit trylcg.com forward slash road life. We have a special offer for Allie and Dan viewers. Use promo code road life for 30% off your tests. All right, guys, let's get right into this story. We're super excited. We've been so excited to share this information with you guys. We've been hinting at it on the live streams. I don't know if people caught on to that. I think some people did, um, but we've been really, really wanting to share this information with you guys. And we finally are able to because well, I am 18 weeks pregnant and we finally got to come to Michigan and tell all of my family in person, which we are super excited about. So now the cat's officially out of the bag now that we're bringing the van fam in. The story behind this is um, we decided together that we wanted to start a family and we're doing it in an, an, a unique order. You know, we're not we're obviously not married and I think that's something that we talked about and I mean, personally, we feel very committed to each other and we feel like we have a really good thing going. How do you feel? I feel great. We just decided that this was more important to us than getting married. We spent about four months trying and I had sort of anticipated it taking a little bit longer just because I yeah. know so, so many people have um, really a lot of obstacles to overcome to start a family um but we are very fortunate yeah. i've been pregnant since the middle of february <laughs> yeah and we actually documented some of those first initial tries so here you go okay gang it's um november the 12th we are about to take Allie's first clear blue pregnancy test to see what's going to happen with our future you know we've taken bets I'm hoping for two stripes, which would indicate a positive. Allie's... Gonna be happy either way. A lot of people will probably think that this was a mishap. Not at but, all. Um, no, this was... This was intentional. Okay, I got a really, really good sample here. I'm gonna read the instructions. What? Wait, can you get me? I need toilet paper. Hold on a second. I've got more important things going. Dad! Gross! Um. Can you get me? Not looking. You have to wait. The control line is there. Replace the cap. Okay, I've replaced the cap. We're just waiting to see. It's again, it's early. If you, if not, see test you wait a full three minutes before. Wait a full three minutes before reading your results. Literally, I'm reading them as we go, so. It looks negative. We're going to take one again in a few days because I've been having some symptoms. Right. Yeah, this one says negative. Bummed out big time, but... This is month two of um, It's a little early, again. but... It's, it's a little early. It's on the very beginning of when it... They just leave it down. Say, they say that you can test it six days before your period.
Well, this one looked like a no-go, but we'll have another one here in a couple days and uh, see, maybe it's just a little early. That's okay, we will continue on. Okay, second attempt in the middle of December. Um, not looking good as of now, so we'll see if anything changes. Might have to wait another month. Wait three to five minutes. What are we looking for? Is that an early detection? No, but my period's one day late. That's early detection? No, they're not early detection, but my period is one day late. These are not? No. It says you can test again in two days, obviously, if my period still hasn't come. That's but, weird. Huh? That's weird. But we have ovulation tests, so now we can know. Yeah. Like Ali said, it took about four months, which I thought was a lot sooner than I had mentally projected. We kind of planned out about a year, right? Yeah. And the moment we found out, the story of us finding out was actually kind of a, a funny one. We didn't have a big reveal, like taking a test, flipping it over and being like, oh my God, a big reaction. We found out in a really unique way, um, which we documented here. So we'll show you guys that right now as well. Oh no. How did you not see that? It wasn't there this morning. I don't think that you can trust them if you have eight hours. I think it has to be within a few hours. Did you look and see that? No, I didn't see it. I did look. Piggy, stop. I gotta keep an eye on Huck. Do you think that's real? Yeah. 100%. Well, I think we have to wait till tomorrow. Well, I mean, obviously we're gonna do it again tomorrow, but that's... Did you just see that? I was just looking, in the, I was just throwing away the paper bag and I saw it sitting there. I was like, oh, I'll take a look at it again. I think you have to... Babe, it's so light. It's no more than five minutes. Read the package though. We're in Crested Butte, Colorado, and Allie took her first pregnancy test of her February ovulation cycle, I guess. And we timed everything with ovulation tests for the first time. We nailed the day. <laughs> and this is the first time you we've seen... Me on the day. <laughs> PG, keep it PG. <laughs> and there is a very faint line there. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera. But... I think we have to wait until tomorrow before we can, like... Well... Think it's real. Yeah, we've been in a habit of celebrating things early and getting burned, so. So, Dan couldn't let me just go pee normally for like months because he wanted to test like Not basically months. every <laughs> every cycle. Basically every single time I had to pee, he wanted to test. We ordered this huge package of test strips, so he was just going nuts with it. And I was like, it's way too early, it's way too early. But eventually... Yeah, eventually, as you guys saw in the video, we found one that, in the trash, that had a clear positive on it. But we didn't know what to think, so it was we... was super faint positive, so I was a little bit nervous that it had just... It was an evaporation line because of yeah. how long it had been in the garbage. And it then... It was a couple hours in the garbage, for sure. The next day... Yeah, well then the we... Day. We just kept finding, um, we just, since we had this Amazon testing, and the, if you guys don't know about these test strips, basically it's just really a simple science type of thing where they just test for a certain level, a certain threshold of HCG, which is a, the pregnancy hormone in um, a woman's urine. So I figured like, let's just keep testing because even though it is like four or five days before your planned missed period, a lot of these tests can detect that. So that was my thinking. That's why I wanted, and like, not that I was worried that we weren't, that we were gonna have like long-term issues. I, I, I didn't know what to think, but it is kind of nerve wracking. I think anybody that's gone through, um, you know, certainly reproductive trying issues or trying to conceive for a long period of time, I'm sure you can relate to that. Although we, I think in the grand scheme of things, conceive quite quickly. Very quickly. But uh, you know that you start to get those ideas in the back of your mind. So that's why I wanted to um, keep keep doing the test strips. Not miss a single option. <laughs> yeah, and I thought, hey, we've got you know these are like 15 bucks for like a 50 pack. Why not make sure we um, 
why not make sure we have a clear idea? So we had just left Crested Butte and we were heading back to the Pacific Northwest and sometime in like northern, northwestern Utah, I think is where we had stayed the night and taken the test strip. So basically we had all of Idaho in Oregon to get back and I think that we both just sat there like completely floored and silent for most of the drive just like what yeah didn't know what to think didn't excited know. but just kind very of excited it it's like it didn't unsure. feel real you know and yeah. it's okay it is officially what February 26th is that the date February 26 and these lines keep getting darker and they're actually just easily visible now so um, it seems as if we've made it happen and it's been a success so babe what are you thinking when you see that line hold your hold so your test we babe. keep looking and are like oh is that like a little line or what is that and I think I think I'm pregnant but we don't want to celebrate too early or get too excited. Yes, but we do. This looks pretty pregnant to me. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't know. I feel I feel nervous to celebrate. I have very very exciting, and yeah, I mean it's almost like I think, too crazy I think... to be true, but it seems to be. We've tested like maybe six times in the last two days, and one of them was a dud but the other ones have just been getting like, basically these little strips from Amazon have been just slowly and slowly becoming more and more evident. So I'm really happy. I'm, I'm just, I, I don't even know what to say, but I think <laughs> it's surreal really. And then- It's a very unique feeling. Once we got back to the Pacific Northwest, I wanted like a fresh morning <laughs> to sample test and sure enough, it was dark. Yeah, and we used Very dark. we used um, a more um, robust test, Fancy. and then we started to get results like this. This is a big reveal. This is day one of us realizing that we are basically pregnant. And do you want to come in here, babe, and kind of go over this? I want to explain this to you and to our viewers as well. Okay, so this is first test of the day, second test, third test. Clearly, first two are very similar, but you can tell third one is much, much brighter. And then this one was also in the morning too, and it's... We've been taking quite a few tests every day, and we've been back here in Portland for, this is our third our third night and as of 228 February 28th we can officially say that we've tested out as much as we can before we go to a doctor and get a real test but that's a definitive positive within one minute of being administered so we are really excited it's 7 15 a.m. and I've cried three times already today four not four I'm just really excited. Can I walk? Happy tears. <laughs> We're, I'm not sleeping well at all because I'm very excited and I just keep, I can't seem to fall asleep. I've got, mind is racing, so. It's now March 1st and we're deciding when we start telling people because. And I did I'm, this calculator, due date calculator. <gasps> That's one of my best friend's birthday. So originally my due date was October 8th and... No, no, no. What's that? November 12th. Did I say October 8th? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we that calculated. No, no. We calculated that using the app. Okay. We calculated that using the app and then we spoke to... I spoke to my naturopath over the phone and she gave us a better date of November 8th. Mm -hmm. And which is really close to my best friend and my aunt and my grandfather, my amazing grandfather who's left us um, his birthday. 
And then we went in for our initial appointment in Bellingham, Washington, and our midwife gave us the brand new appointment, or I mean due date of November 5th, which is... My birthday. So we spent the whole month of um, between March and mid-March and mid-April in Squamish in BC, Canada, as you guys saw if you were following along those episodes. Um, and that whole time, we were um, just, you know, kind of being, uh, keeping a positive mindset because I think something like one in 30 pregnancies end in miscarriage. So we were just monitoring and making sure that um, Allie was, you know, not showing any signs of that. And then on Allie's birthday, we got to hear the baby's heartbeat for the very first time um, when we got back to Bellingham after we left Canada. So that was really special. And that's when we got the due date from, because we had a midwife appointment that the, uh, one day, and then the next day we had our first ultrasound. And that's when we got, based on the measurements and the size, we got the a much better due date, due date. of November the 5th, which is really cool. Um, although we're kind of both hoping I don't know. It would. I don't think it really matters if we share a birthday, but it would just be a, a unique coincidence. Highly unlikely that it will yeah. happen on the same day, but we will see. So as of today, we're Allie's about 18 and a half weeks pregnant, which is really really exciting, and um, she's just started starting to show a bump. So we will uh, be documenting all of that stuff going forward now that we finally let you guys know. But. Allie's first trimester was a little rough. I might cry about it just thinking about it, but it was, um, what was that all day sickness? I remember even being woken up in the night, not feeling well. Um, it was really rough. And so I think that that was one thing that actually reassured us during the first trimester, the like kind of questionable, scary phase of whether or not something has happened or whatnot. I never had any spotting or anything, but I was so sick. Um, I know you know how active I am and I don't really stop moving and I laid in bed and we tried to do things, um, but I felt terrible. And a couple of days I felt so terrible. I just cried. And Dan. I got a lot of um, tongue lashings, I guess you could say, I for certain things. I probably lost my cool on Dan about three rough times that I could remember. But I kept my eye calm and I just know that that's, I mean, she's going through a lot. If anyone's wondering, I'm feeling really good <laughs> physically, mentally. Well, my hip hurts. <laughs> well, it doesn't hurt, but my hip's fractured. <laughs> Other yeah. than that, during that time, I have uh, I was just trying to be supportive for Allie. And, you know, she was experiencing crazy changes inside her body that weren't visible to the outside world in terms of her nausea and, you know, just starting to this journey of growing a child inside of her. And even though sometimes there was some, some tongue lashings, some, some chewing, some butt chewings, I, uh, I, I knew that it, but. it would, it would uh, come up and down, but those were, I mean, that we're just saying that cause that's, that was a symptom, you know, it's like you having these kind of emotional roller coaster along with nausea. I mean, it also came out of nowhere. I feel like it came about over cereal one day or something like parking the van somewhere. So not but, something I would normally get upset about, but <laughs> I had some blood work done a, a year ago and it all showed super low levels of iron and protein and whatever else. And I knew that I needed to start adding protein in. I'm just really bad at feeding myself and Dan wasn't really interested in making vegetarian meals all that often. So it was like either I eat chips and salsa or I eat what he's making. And so I started to eat what he was making and we started to kind of find our middle ground with meals. And I eat meat once a day now for sure, don't yeah. I? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. so getting back to um, where we are here, it, when we got back to the US, we had, that's why we came back from Canada is we had two appointments that Sorry. we were so excited about. The first one was with a midwife that we have um, are really excited to work with throughout this um, pregnancy, but obviously during the delivery. And that's when we got to really feel the first real connection with our baby. Um, with, I'll show you some clips from that, which is um, the Doppler of hearing the heartbeat. This will be a good birthday present to the parents. And then the day after, we got to see our first ultrasound, and it's just pretty incredible. 
we measured at about 10, we thought we were like nine weeks, but it was actually closer to 11 weeks, basically. We were about a week behind. During the ultrasound, our baby was in there jumping around and like playing, yeah, I don't playing. know, moving Which all around. just blew my mind. I mean, I did not expect to see such like a humanoid a shape. 10 weeks or eight yeah. weeks? No, 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 it was at 10, okay. Yeah, it was at 10, which actually was like 11. We measured further along yeah. than we were. We saw her baby. Heartbeat yesterday and pictures today. Whew. It's making all of this terrible nausea worth it. Yeah. You know, obviously I fractured my pelvis on April 22nd. And right around that time was when you started feeling much, much better. So yeah. it's just kind of a weird coincidence. And even though I wish I didn't hurt myself, I feel like it's been a part of what was kind of, you know, the, the universe plans, God's plan, whatever you want to, however you want to look at that. But it's really given us some, me certainly, some perspective because um, now that I'm going to be a father for the first time, I want to make sure that I don't ever spend a week in the hospital again. But it's just so s interesting that right around the time I needed Allie the most, she started feeling better she had entered her second trimester just uh, right around that time so it's just a really interesting um turn of events and a lot of our friends say that he like you know it happened on purpose so that he can't he doesn't kite and do all the fun stuff without me this summer and you know i can still do activities and everything but i can't do them at the level that i would like to be doing them so i decided to just even before this kind of just take the summer to relax and give my body the the rest that it needs and yes yeah. i'm pregnant so yes i get a little emotional about things but it's just been it's been a really big year for us already yeah and you know we're, we're ending on a sweet note but we have a, a whole summer to get through and some physical therapy for dan and of course growing a baby yeah, this summer for us is just an opportunity to A, um, slow down, work on our craft, which is creating enjoyable content for you guys and really documenting this journey now because we don't want to just be like van life people. We want to be like a just a fun channel that people can watch and I think this will give us a space. Um, to, for people to learn what you know what it looks like to live this this way in a tiny home or a van um, with a you know pregnant and then with a newborn with an infant with a toddler and all those things and we're going to be doing a lot more than just living in a van so we're really excited to document that but this summer is going to be all about um, sharing our journey from going when the van broke down to me getting hurt to finding out this incredible news and um I, yeah like ali said it's gonna end on such a high note that we're we're just really overjoyed and we can't wait to share more information with you guys as we um move further along in the summer my amazing friends in san diego kind of gave us a bit of you know their story and what had gone on with her birth and her now second birth which she's only like three months ahead of me. She, they recommended ovulation strips and even gave us some gave us that like they had 20 used. Of them. So we used those and we're pregnant that next month. So yeah. everything is different for every single body. Yeah. But that was our sort of missing link, I guess, and um, making sure we had you know, try it on the correct day. Or yeah, whatever. and it worked. So hopefully, you know, if there's somebody out there that's working on this same project, maybe that's something that you can use. I know they're really affordable on Amazon. Because um, before that, I was just using the iPhone app that yeah. has your, like the My Health, and um, it gives you like five, four or five days of when you might be ovulating, and so you just kind of like take a guess within those days or, you know, do your best at, reading the articles and thinking you know what you're doing but the ovulation strips is like you are ovulating right now yeah and super accurate it kind of took a bit of the stress away and 
So we wanted to share this with you guys. We were so excited. We've trust me, we've been wanting to bring you guys in. I don't know if people we've been trying to film in a way that doesn't show Allie's belly because we're gonna show you guys her bump in the coming videos, but um, she's her body's changing and it's changing really quick at 18 and a half weeks. We are gonna be doing a live. We're gonna be going live with you guys in a few days after this video is posted. So please, please, please look out for that. We love hanging out with you guys. We can't wait to see you there. And we're gonna um, have so much fun. We're gonna talk about this huge news and um, we can't wait to hear from you guys and learn from you guys because we know we have a lot of mothers out there that watch our channel. Um, if you guys have questions or comments or anything you want, we're gonna be doing a Q&A video because I know there's a lot of people out there that um, like to ask questions when it comes to pregnancy. So drop us a comment below, drop us a question below, and we'll address it in a coming video as well. And of course, we wanna thank Let's Get Checked for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out the link in the video description for more information. And babe, final words, what else? What else is there to say about this? Thank you guys so much for coming along this journey with us and being so supportive of everything else that we've done. We already know that you are going to be sending so much love and support for this crazy wild new chapter in our lives. We'll see you guys in the next video. We'll see you guys on our live stream real soon. Love you guys. Adios.